zebras are okay, in the rain feeding. Hello everyone, I am on my way to Lakey Land Reserve, which is about a two hour drive from Durban Central, so onwards. I've just arrived and I paid at reception. Time to go in the reserve. Hello. Are you sure, thank you. Zebras are okay, in the rain feeding. Okay, so I just arrived at camp. I just arrived at camp. I'm gonna try and set up my tent before the rain gets any more heavier. Tent is fastened down. I just need to put the rain sheet. And we are expecting rain tonight. The last time I used my tent, somehow, when I was putting it away, I managed to tear this part here. It got torn, so I just stitched it up. When I was lowering down this arm, I think this pole is a bit too tight. So when I was pushing it down, the whole thing tore. Hopefully the stitch should be enough to keep up any keep out any rain. I just need to attach that part now. 
Yeah, I think this hook here is a bit too tight on the pole. And should be okay. Hopefully that stitching holds up. I never got to show you the site when I arrived because I was too busy trying to put the tent on before the rain started. But there is a lake down here. This is actually a self-drive reserve. So you can, I don't know if you can see, there's a road there. You can drive along the roads throughout the old reserve. So this will be bed for the night. I just need to pump it up. Let me just throwing my bed in. Here's a campfire spot. I do have wood. It just matters whether it rains or not tonight. Because then I'll be able to make a campfire. Well, that's camp set up. Now it's just time to get some food. I'm not cooking tonight because I arrived here so late. And well, because the rain. So uh, there is a restaurant here that I can get something to eat just for tonight. I was hoping to uh, go around driving the reserve, but it's a bit too late now. I can't even make anything, any food because of the rain. But let's go see what that restaurant has. Well, there's the building. Can I see my tent from here? Uh, yeah, there's it right there. Let's see what they have to eat here. There's a bar here. What drafts you got? Uh, only the value drafts are on the board. I don't have nothing on the tip. Here the bar. Windhoek again. I'm drinking Windhoek again on a camping trip. It's nice that they have a bar in this place. That means I didn't have to bring any beer with me. Let's see what I can order for supper tonight. 
Let's see the chef's choice. There is uh, chicken schnitzel, egg and chips, steak, spare ribs. I think I'm feeling for egg and chips tonight. Got my fish and chips. Just need to get back to the campsite. Uh, maybe I will be able to start a campfire. Let's see how the wind holds up and the rain. I'm back in the campsite. Let me see if I can get a campfire going. The wind is a bit high though, but uh, the rain slowed down a bit. So hopefully, I'll see what I can do. some dark smoke but it means the wood is catching. There is some life there. Let's take a walk. Let's see what we got here. There is a lake and there's a suspension bridge over there. As you can see the clouds we are expecting rain. Uh, I read on the news that there is a cyclone uh, heading towards South Africa. Cyclone Freddy. So it passed uh, Madagascar, I think, yesterday. So it's heading towards South Africa uh, today. Let me just show you what my fish and chips looks like. So, here it is. I don't know if you can see this. How does that look? lemon that I'm just going to squeeze in. I'm going to taste some fish. Mmm. The fish is great. The fish tastes wonderful. Even the chips are good. Let me show you a piece. <clears throat> I think it's a good time to go inside the tent. Let me just warm myself up first. Got the smoke. It's going straight into my eyes. The wind seems to have calmed down now and even the rain has stopped so it's okay for now but who knows what the night holds?
got my setup there table chair bedding inside the bag is my laptop I think it's time maybe I should watch a movie or something because the rain is starting up again I'm just looking for something to watch now while I relax inside of the tent I still have some of my fish and chips that I'm going to eat now. Expecting some rain during the night, but 50% or so. Got my light on the top. Keep my water here down. got this cover to cover my eyes to block the sunlight in the morning I think that's it for tonight good night Good morning everyone. It did rain last night, uh, but not too bad. Let's see. Okay, maybe a little bit bad, but it was okay for the night. I slept throughout the night, so it was fine. It's about 6.30 in the morning. I think I'm gonna go back into the tent and just chill a little while longer. Oh, gotta watch that water doesn't come in. So where I am now is the first campsite is right at the beginning uh, of Lake Hill and where the reception is as you can see building there is the reception and you just drive down and here are the campsites so I am here at this campsite but there's another campsite all the way up it's about 7 k's up you go from here all the way up there and there's another campsite there at a lake but the people at reception said it could be a bit tricky and I only like I have a city car I don't have an off-road vehicle so I'm gonna attempt to get there but if I can't I'll just have to turn back and go
just putting the tent back in, even though it's still wet. I'm just throwing it to my Right, time for some breakfast. But first, need to have a shower. There is a shower here. That's the shower done. Let's see if we can get some coffee now. The campsite that I was staying at is so close to the reception that uh, it's actually walking distance. In fact, I walked there yesterday when I went to get the fish and chips. But the one that I'm attempting to go to after I eat breakfast is seven kilometers away from here and it's on an off-road uh, not off-road but on lo loose surface basically it's not tarred gravel surface Bacon, eggs, sausage, mushrooms, toast should be fine. That is breakfast done. Off to the next site, if I can make it. Got an energy drink to keep me alert. And I got a map. So let's get to it. If I make it to the second site, there'll be a video that you can click onto.